Hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to do the subject-wise analysis of previous year gate question paper for electrical, EC, and instrumentation. We will see subject-wise analysis. We will see which subject came for how many marks and what we can expect in gate 2024 and 2025. Okay. So majorly, we will see for gate 2024. So yeah, this is the analysis for EC. You can take a screenshot first. Okay. So what do we see here? In all the question paper, majorly, these three combined comes for nearly 30 marks. Nearly 30 marks, these three. I will share this PDF with you on Telegram page so you can join there. So these three combined nearly comes for 30 marks. Nearly. Can't say exactly, but nearly they can come for 30 marks, and nearly these two come for 15 marks. Okay. And the core part, this is our core part, which comes for nearly. 30 marks and this is nearly around 28 to 30 only okay so what do we see here now based on the now i can't really tell how much marks uh, a subject will contain in gate 2026 but as per my esti estimation uh, that uh, i have shown i have seen previous year question paper what i can estimate is that our core part will be of nearly 30 marks nearly 30 marks May, major portion from communication you should this year communication can come in good amount okay so major portion on communication i would say from core part and our uh, these common subjects will be of nearly 30 marks that is no not 30 marks sorry nearly around 45 marks okay and uh, in this major from ma where major will come analog and certainly network analog and network major part okay I just can't really comment. Who knows? They can ask signals for for 15 marks and control for five marks only. This can happen, but combined it will be of nearly around from 45 marks. Okay. And then our apt plus mathematics combined it will be nearly around 40, 25 to 30. Right? 28 to 30. I, I will say aptitude will be of uh, 15 only, and uh, this uh, maths will be of 13 or 15 marks. Okay. And rest we can adjust. So core part will be of 30 marks, common will be of around 45 marks, and math plus apt will be of 28 to 30. In EC question paper, I expect maths will be from maths will be of moderate level. I can't say it will be tough. Maths will be of moderate level in case of EC question paper, and I am expecting very good questions from analog electronics this year and from, from communication systems as well. So this is just my est estimation from I see Bangalore this year. Okay. So let me erase it all. Then we will move to. Look, this is just an ana analysis. You can't really say which subject will come for which marks, but combined you can say that these five subjects, these three subjects, and these three subjects. Okay. So let's do the analysis for electrical now. Yeah. So for electrical engineering, you can take a screenshot and if you see these these are our core subjects for electrical these five combines will come of nearly 35 marks 35 marks core core will be of nearly 35 marks with major portion on being machines as far as i uh, see and uh, most of the student don't really care about EM emft much right they don't study emft much but this year i am expect, expecting at least five marks fiction from emft at least five marks okay four to five marks four to five marks for emft okay four to five marks for emft so if you haven't studied it just take time of four to five days and do study it for electrical student do study emft okay i'm saying do study emft and uh, this common part this one look if you can add if you can see This is nearly of 30 to 35 marks. Okay. Common part. Nearly of 30 to 35 marks. Okay. And uh, maths plus apt, these will be of the same 28 to 30. Okay. So in electrical, we see more questions from core. That's the thing that we all know if you are preparing for uh, gate seriously, you know that more portion comes from core part in electrical. 
ओके एंड सब्जेक्ट विच आर कॉमन इन दैट पोर्शन मेजर पोर्शन विल बी फ्रॉम सिग्नल्स एंड कंट्रोल ओके सिग्नल्स एंड कंट्रोल even if you are not comfortable with analog electronics you don't need to be tensed too much if you are a electrical student if you are not comfortable with digital electronics you don't need to be tensed network theory is certainly very important because network theory is the base okay so but if you are not comfortable with analog and digital you don't need to think much okay analog and digital will not be that much there in case of electrical question paper but in electrical signals plus control are very very important you should have in depth knowledge not i can i shouldn't say in depth knowledge but you should have fine enough knowledge to solve the problems okay so yeah for electrical student i would say focus more on signals plus control than analog and digital so if you are thinking to write subject wise test then write signals per signals and control subject wise test rather than writing analog plus uh, analog and digital okay and network is certainly basic subject that everyone should study uh, this will also come in good good marks around uh, 8 to 10 10 marks i am expecting network plus some uh, three phase circuit basics of three phase circuit so these two things combined will come around 10 marks and signals one control will come in good amount of questions okay yeah and core part is certainly very important majorly focusing on machines and why these uh, things are written like gate 2016 was organized by iic bangalore so why it is written in points because there were two sets so we just took the average so that's why they are written in 4.5 6.5 but questions come will come from one mark or two mark only we took the average of two sets that's why it is written in points okay yeah that is the analysis for electrical so in conclusion you should be focusing from common subject you should be focusing on signals and control more on signals okay signals and control and if you can compare between signals and control then more on signals okay and uh, 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 in case of core machines psa will also have the same weightage i can't say uh, one will have more weightage all the subjects will have uh, more amount of weightage in case of uh, core part machines psa and power electronics and emft you shouldn't drop emft will also come for nearly 4 to 5 marks that is my estimation okay let's go for uh, let's go for instrumentation engineering okay so in case of instrumentation you can take the screenshot in case of instrumentation engineering the core subjects here these are the core subjects there okay one more subject is there that is microprocessor plus this machines is also there okay these combined core combined will be of nearly around 27 can't say 27 i would say from 25 to 28 okay from 25 to 28 they don't ask much of core uh, like don't they don't ask much questions from core okay so this is what i am expecting in case of instrumentation from core part they will be asking 25 to 28 and these three combined these three civic network plus analog plus digital nearly 30 30 marks 32 32 32 33 marks okay 32 33 so in case of instrumentation question paper you majorly found there are circuits zone in all the question paper you will see circuits and circuits only so you should be very much comfortable with analog digital and network so every single questions that you can in if you are aiming for instrumentation question paper so every single question okay from analog digital and network okay if, these are also important control and signals are also important so the common part is completely important for in case of instrumentation engineering nearly around 45 question 45 marks question nearly 45 to 50 it may come So common part is very 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 important and the concept of common part is used in sensors as well in measurements as well or in case of optical instrumentation as well in some sometimes so can't say in in case of optical instrumentation so let's just not and i will also bring a video where i will be solving the question paper of instrumentation engineering uh, how i solved the paper of instrumentation engineering in gate 2022 being an ec student so how did i solve those questions that i will also bring so those who are uh, majorly from electrical and ec and they are still writing instrumentation question paper 
your there will be a huge advantage because common subjects will be of around 45 to 50 and maths and aptitude will be will nearly be around 28 to 30 so nearly 75 to 50 if 75 to 80 percent of syllabus you are already done if even if you are from ec and electrical okay in case of instrumentation engineering if you are from ec and electrical you are nearly done with the 28 to 30 percent of syllabus already okay so yeah you can go with the full confidence you can score well in the instrumentation question paper as well okay but the questions will be very good from analog digital and network that is for sure very good question now for electrical students they ask what to do for microprocessor so microprocessor will be hardly of two marks okay hardly of two marks one two or three in this it will be there so you can drop it if you don't have time and if you haven't done microprocessor i wouldn't say take six days or seven days and complete microprocessor you can drop this subject okay hardly one or two marks will be there electrical machines now i can't really comment on this okay because uh, paper are set by isc iits so they can ask anything but uh, can't really comment on electrical machines like last year i guess uh, in 2023 they asked around four to five marks question from electrical machines only in case of instrumentation engineering four to five marks question from electrical machines right and the syllabus is also small so still they asked so we can't really comment what uh, you can expect from them but yeah mm, I wouldn't say you should drop it but if you have prepared then it's all good but if you haven't and if you are thinking to prepare then you can think of preparing but 15 Jan should be the last date after 15 Jan you shouldn't be learning anything new okay so yeah that's my analysis for instrumentation that core part will be of 25 to 28 marks common part will be having much much more importance 45 to 30 and more importance to network analog and digital control and, and signals are also important they are also equally important I would say but uh, what I feel is that signals is a tougher subject than analog and digital. If you study deeply, signals will be tougher subject than analog and digital. But uh, uh, so uh, analog, digital and network being on easier side, still you can score 35, 30 marks from there. So yeah, so these are also important. Certainly these are also important. So combined it will be of 45 to 50 marks. So you should be focusing more on common subjects and uh, in core subjects, I would expect more question from sensors and transducers th this year and from measurements. Okay. Optical instrumentation, less question I am expecting. Communication, I am less question I am expecting. And EMT also, I am less question expecting. From communication, like uh, from DGCOM, I can expect some questions from digital com communication. Okay. So, yeah, that's my analysis. So, if you have any query, if you want me to bring anything on this channel, you can comment down and please try to share it with your friends so, then, so that they can also ask their queries they can also ask what they want on the channel so i will certainly bring it on the channel okay thank you and please consider liking the video if you found it helpful